Hello children, I welcome you all once again to your English class. I hope you all are doing fine. Children, for today's video lesson, we are going to continue with the present tense chapter that we had started in our previous video lesson and we had discussed about the basic forms of tense, right? We had discussed that the verbs, that means the tense, the time exists in three periods, the present tense, past tense and future tense. We had also discussed each of these tense is further divided into four other forms that is the simple present, like I am talking about the present tense, simple present, then we had the present continuous, then we had the present perfect and then present perfect continuous. Yes children? Now we would we would be moving ahead with the C exercise that we uh, we were to begin in our previous video lesson, page 98. We will continue with this exercise because we have finished till I have told you which verbs could not be uh, made the continuous form. We cannot write the present continuous form of those verbs like resemble, possess, smells, doubt, respect. So that always exists in simple present tense and never in present continuous tense. Right children? Now we will move ahead with exercise C. Let's begin. So this exercise is on page number 98. Page first one. Ganesh, you have to do what? You have to fill in the blanks with appropriate verbs from the brackets. Ganesh dash a good collection of storybooks. Ganesh has or is having. So Ganesh has it will be has a good collection so number two now the cake dash delicious i told you the verb tastes cannot be used in the present continuous tense so we cannot write is testing we have to write what tastes so now we are going to fill this up with tastes number three he dash is wishing, wishes me luck for my new assignment. So yes children, he wishes me luck. Okay. Now Mohan dash his identity card every second day. Mohan forgets because forgetting is wrong. So forgets. Number 5, Naman dash is disliking or dislikes his new classmate. Is disliking is wrong children. Some verbs cannot exist in the present continuous form. So it will be dislikes. Yes, we are done with this exercise. Now children moving ahead with forms of present perfect tense. In present perfect tense children, let us learn the structure first. I won't drop this, let it be there only because we have space this side, we can work there. So we are now learning about present perfect tense. Yes, in this present perfect tense children, what will be the structure in affirmative sentence? If the sentence is affirmative, our structure has to be like this. So there will be this has or have okay plus the past participle of the verb past participle form of the verb so for example we can write with children when we can use has i told you with singular subjects we are going to use has like for this one, he, she, it, this third person, singular, will always take has. So, he has just, just is not a verb. So, we won't count here. He has just, finish is a verb, finish. So, for past participle of finish, we have finished. So, he has just finished his project work. Yes children, now see, they, they is plural, that's why we are going to use have, 
दे हैव लेफ्ट फॉर हरिद्वार बाय कार सो ये चिल्ड्रन यू कैन सी हैव लेफ्ट हैज फिनिश्ड सो दिस चिल्ड्रन इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग आवर प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस हैव हैज विल बी देयर पास्ट पार्टिसिपल ऑफ द वर्ब विल बी देयर ओके in the affirmative sentence now let's move ahead with negative sentence in negative sentence children we just do one thing in negative sentences which is in present perfect tense we do only one thing what will be that have or has will be there according to the subject if subject is singular has if it's plural have plus not will be used Okay, for negative we are going to use not, and then we are going to use past participle form of the verb. Yes, children. So now, how can we write this? We can write it as they have not. See, have is there, not will be there. Gone. to the temple yes okay children this is negative now for questions for interrogative sentences i have already taught you how we are going to frame interrogative sentences for these kind of sentences this have will come here. in the beginning that means the auxiliary verb is written first have then children the subject is written have they okay have they will be there now the past participle verb will be there have they gone to the temple then the other part is there so have they gone to the temple see right now we have this let us learn about some examples here she plays badminton every evening so this is in simple present because we have used the s verb that means the first form the root verb and we have added s to it so simple present because she is singular right now they practice javelin throw in the stadium simple present he is turning now present continuous she is learning to play the guitar present continuous gaurav has gone on an expedition expedition is a tour yeah it's like a traveling uh tour now we have this in present perfect because we have has gone yes now moving ahead with exercise d read the following sentences and fill in the blanks with appropriate form of verbs given in brackets the tense form is mentioned along with each sentence so we have to take the clues we have to take the hints and use it they dash me for lunch today so we, the verb we are going to use is join and present continuous children you have to be very careful with the subject because that will decide which verb you are going to use okay so this is exercise d exercise d number 1 they dash me for lunch today they are joining are because it's plural they are joining and in present continuous we know we are going to add are or is or am and then we have to write the ing form of the verb yes number 2 now boy is dash to fly kites okay simple present so boys children is plural that's why like only love no s will be added because boys is plural the sun dash in the east and dash in the west rise and set and we have to write it in simple present sun is singular children so rises in the east yes rises in the east and sets in the west because we have to write the simple present form so because sun is singular that's why we added s to rise and s to set Yes, sets and rises. The theater festival dash in the coming weekend. Simple present. So begin begins. The theater festival begins. Number five. 
My friend dash reading the novel finish. So present perfect. My friend has finished. Number six. The sea waves lash on the seashore. Present continuous. So the sea waves are lashing. Sea waves are lashing. I dash the letter and posted it. Present perfect. I have. With I we are always going to use a plural verb. So have. I have written the third form, the past participle form of write is written. So this in present perfect, the third form is used. So I have written the letter and posted it. So children, we are done with this exercise. Now we are moving ahead with other exercise E. We will see what we have to do here. We write the following sentences as directed. The first two sentences have been written for you. They are meeting today. We have to change it into negative. They are not meeting today. Now she is traveling by bus. Interrogative. Is she traveling by bus? So now we will be starting from 3 onwards. Exercise D which is on page number 99. Exercise E. She is uh, okay. They are leaving for Kolkata soon. Are they leaving for Kolkata soon? Question number two. Because we have to make interrogative sentence, that's why there will be a question mark. She plays the piano. Interrogative. So children, I have told you if there is no auxiliary verb for simple present sentences, we are always going to start it with does or do according to the subject. So because here we have seen, we can see that uh, our subject is singular, she. So we are going to write does. Does she play the piano? Does she play? Because we have already written does here, so we do not need to write add s here. The piano. Yes, children, question mark. Now, she is going out this weekend. We have to change it into negative. She is not going out. Number three. She is not going out. Going out. This weekend. Yes, children, question mark. Number four now. The, okay. Now here. Actually, children, numbering is wrong because we have started from three. So, let's correct this. Three, four, five. Now we are on six. Yes. Students are rehearsing for the sports day. Students are not rehearsing for the sports day. Students are not rehearsing for the sports team. Number seven. Grandma is knitting a cardigan. So, is is there? We have an interrogative. We have an auxiliary verb, so we have to change this into interrogative. Is grandma? Then the verb will be there. Knitting a cardigan. Yes, question. Let's see if there is any because no, there is. No eight. So till seven. So children finish this up. You have this exercise. Please finish it. Now we can move ahead. This difference between simple present and present continuous. 
Now, the simple present tense is used to express a habitual action that you are doing as a habit. The present continuous tense to uh, is used to express an action which is continuing or taking place at the time of speaking. Okay, so my friends play with me every day. This is habitual, this is a routine, right? So repeated action, they continue playing it. My friends are playing with me right now. Action taking place at the time of speaking, that is present continuous tense. Now, with the present continuous tense, we use words like now, today, at present. And with simple present tense, we wo use words like always, often, usually, every day. Yes, it is raining now. So, yes, now is used with present continuous tense. Now, it usually rains every day in the rainy season. So, this is a habit, this is a routine type of thing. Generally, it happens. So, simple present tense. Now, correct use of some verbs. Correct use of some verbs. Have. When have is used to show possession or condition, we do not use in the present continuous tense. So, I have a digital camera. This is, this cannot be written as I am having a digital camera. Okay. So, the correct one is I have a digital camera. Cannot be written as I am having a digital camera, but we have to write I have a digital camera. This is like showing possession, right? Showing condition that you have it. Now, she has a toothache. So, we cannot write it as in the present continuous tense. We cannot write it as uh, she is having a toothache. Right? She has a toothache. Now, have may be used in the present continuous tense when we refer to some arrangement for the future. Like, they are having a gala party next week. She is having her breakfast. Like here see, in sentences where have implies to take. That means to um, ingest or to take in. So she is having her breakfast. He is having a quick shower. He is, uh, obviously he is taking in showers. So we can use it in present continuous tense. Now this words, see, look, listen, hear. See and hear are not action words and do not involve any intention of doing an action. Look and listen are action verbs and indicate intentional activities like I see a beggar on the, on the footpath. I hear the announcement on the public address system. For especially for some verbs like uh, looking, listening, she is looking at me, he is listening to me. So look and listen is an action but see and hear is not. It's a function, right? So. For the verbs, we can use the present continuous tense, but for the, the not the real actions, we can, we have to use it in simple present tense only, okay? Like the word see and hear. Fill in the blanks with have, having, see, looking, listen or hear, okay? Let's finish this up, children. Then we will be wrapping up this video lesson. This will be the last part for today. Number F. This exercise is on page number 100. Number 1. My friends dash their own mobiles. My, my friends, that is showing possession. So we are going to write, have their own mobiles. He is dash a heavy lunch. He is having. It's not showing any possession, okay? It's the process. So that he is having. I can dash the mountains from here. I can see. Number 4. I am dash at the shores on sail. So I am looking. Number 5. Number 5 now. Did you dash to all that he had to say? Did you listen? When you listen, you hear carefully. So, did you listen? Number six. She can dash the loud music. She can hear. She can hear the loud music. Yes, children, I hope this is clear. Won't be having any problem regards to this. Okay. 
Now children, we are done with this video lesson. I hope you at least understood a bit. We will be doing, uh, actually, we, I'll help you understand this better in your online, online classes. And till we meet again, please take care of yourself and your family children. Bye-bye.